Hello everyone, Namaste. My name is Prince Sarian and I'm from class 6. So today in this video, we are going to discuss why does lightning strikes or lightning bolts happen during rainy seasons the most? This is the topic of our today's video. So here in front of your screen, you can see a lightning bolt or a lightning strike which you say. So what is the reason behind the causing it of while the rainy season as you can see the rain is also happening so let us understand the things uh, and the science behind so here introduction to lightning what is basically lightning lightning forms when electrically charged particles in storm clouds collide and build up an electric charge this discharge creates a lightning bolt means there uh, let me show you there there can be two types of particles there can be two types of particles first is a, a positive positively charged particle second is a negatively charged particles in both of these charged particles what is common is they actually create a very kind of discharge when what happens is when the lightning is formed when the electrically charged particles in the storm collide with each other. So let me show you. See, here are the two types of particles or the charged particles. So when they both will collide with each other, it is going to be a result of, yes, you heard it right. It is a lightning bolt or a lightning strike understood now this discharge creates a lightning bolt now what let us understand what basically happens inside the cloud because cloud is the only place where the lightning occurs why because in this figure as you can also see the from the cloud only the lightning is coming isn't it so in that case also the same thing we are going to check here so what is the scene inside the clouds so inside the clouds there are two types of materials first is dust particles and then uh, other objects are also there so let's take the example of dust particles and water vapor so what happens is these two collide with each other something like that okay so like they are here and they started colliding with each other something like that so in that case, the result is a lightning strike. Inside the clouds, now the lightning strike occurs. Because here as you can see, the both of these particles are either positively or negatively charged. No, they are not charged. That means while they collide, they form, they also collide with the charged particles and that result in lightning. Now let's understand the signs between thunderstorm. So the science behind thunderstorm lightning is an electrically discharge caused by a build up electric charges between positively and negatively charged areas within the cloud when different change when different discharge becomes large enough and a spark occurs creating a lightning the sound of thunder is caused by the rapid expansion of the air surrounding the lightning ball due to its extreme heat it generates so one thing let me say that this lightning strikes yes so this lightning strikes are so heat uh, they have they generate so heat that it is even more heat than the surface of the sun understood so more than like 5000 5000 degrees celsius or more than even that so now next thing let's understand this para so lightning is electrically discharged build up by electrically charged between electrically charges between positively and negatively charged areas within the cloud so here is a cloud let's take an example of this cloud it will be better so at the top you will find at the top border of the cloud you will find all the positive charges and the uh, below line you are going to found, find the negatively charged particles understood now next 
what it is saying that it is becomes when the discharge becomes large enough and the spark occurs creating a lightning this thing we understood now let's uh, understand about the sound of the lightning so the sound of the uh, lightning is due to the rapid expansion of the air around the lightning bolt so what happens is when the lightning bolt just uh, strikes uh, and then what happens is due to its heat it, it, extreme heat generated by it the air around it starts to expand so there is an expansion of air causing there next i have said you about these two particles now see how lightning is formed lightning occurs due to build up of electrically charged in the atmosphere during thunderstorm this discharge of electricity produces a bright flash of light and thunder understood now so one thing you need to understand the what is the role of rain in right like a lightning formation lightning is formed due to the build up of electrically charged in thunder clouds rain drops and ice particles collide creating an electrically charged imbalance that result in lightning st strike so as i have said you before this is the same thing got it now let us check the new thing why lightning is more common during the rainy season okay so this is a very important topic because lightning is caused by the build up of electric charges in particles we know so during the rainy season there is more heat and humidity which creates an ideal condition for the thunderstorm and lightning strikes to occur more frequently so in rainy season basically what happens is there is a proper condition for or the proper ideal place or suitable condition for the thunderstorm and lightning strikes to occur so that is why rain in rainy season it occurs the most now if i am explaining this to you so why don't i explain you the safety measures during thunderstorm so first thing is you must avoid to go to open areas like any field hill or any outside areas then point to stay far away from tall metal object uh, like trees and poles electric poles right so seek shelter in a sturdy building or a hard top vehicle means you must take a shelter and uh, in a building or else a hard top vehicle means like a car or a bus something like that you must take a shelter this thing you understood now thank you so much for joining me on this journey and understanding the science behind lightning in rainy season i will be meeting you in my next video till then bye bye everyone